Hello guys and welcome. Today we have a new package. As you see, it's from Growat. So as you know, I have a photovoltaic system at my home. Today I got oh, a car charger from Growat. This is the Tor 07AS-P. That's a home charging station for EVs, electric vehicles. So let's open it. This charger is a single phase, 7 kilowatts home charger. Let's see what we've got. Okay, so first there is a manual, we'll see that later, some screws, oh, that's heavy, that's the charging cable, actually this is really thick, it's 6 square millimeters, nice. Okay, let's continue, let's take that off, I think that's a hook for the cable, and here is the star of the show, that's actually the charger. We don't have anything else. Okay, let's pick it up. So I think that cable is around five meters long and it's pretty huge. Around the back, uh, we have the stand for the wall. Here is some circuit breakers. It says 230 volts, 32 amps, 7 kilowatts. IP rating is IP65. In order to uh, connect that, uh, you have to open both four screws and you will see the connection ports inside. In here we have the input and the communication outlet. For the communication, I'm prepared, we have this little box. Let's see what we have inside. Okay, finally. What we have here is a little clamp that you have to put on the AC side in the inlets of your home. So when the car starts charging from the PV uh, and you don't have enough power from the sun, this will de detect the inlet and if it exceeds uh, the power that you set from your uh, application in your phone, let's say the minimum I think was uh, 1.4 kilowatts, the, the charger will stop charging the car because you don't have enough power. So this charging station has four modes. The first one is fast. It will charge your car at the maximum 7 kilowatts. The second one is PV linkage. This one will link the charger with your PV system and when you have enough power it will charge your car. The third one is off-peak charging. So it will charge your car during the off-peak hours. 
And the fourth one is load balancing. So that's pretty much it. I will now go and install it. I will try to make a video how to install it and we'll test if it's working or it's not. So stay tuned for the next video in which I will show you how to install this charging station at your home. Thank you guys for watching, if you like the video, click the like button. If you want to see more of those videos, please consider subscribing. Thank you and see you in the next one.